Hello everybody and welcome to my first FIFA 18 player review. Today we are reviewing uh, the SBC al -Sam. He got this for his performance last season in the Saudi League. And he did also receive one on FIFA 17, which is crazy to show how consistent he is in real life. And now, uh, looking at the overview of his card, uh, in the five area, in five out of the six areas of his card, he has over 80, which is absolutely insane. It was similar to the Lacazette in form from FIFA 17, which I did a review on. But they definitely have benefits in different areas. I'm going to explore them in this, pl in this player review. Now, I did apply the engine chemistry style on al -Sam because I did notice that his pace and dribbling did need a lot of work just to make just to mold him into that more complete striker in general sort of that Suarez type which is the comparison I did make in this video I did actually go on to compare uh, al -Sam's stats to Suarez's and they do have very very similar uh, overall Suarez does beat al -Sam quite regularly over the stat base in total. I'm just going to show you my team now. Obviously, I have to have the Saudi League link ups, but I did get like Inform Pizzi, Inform Jagielka, just trying out something different, really, trying to mix it up, sort of thing. Uh, and overall, I think it was a pretty good hybrid to play with. So there we go. Tracking down his strength was a really big notice that I did notice uh, when playing with him. Uh, it was very, very nice to see that a, a physical striker. I don't really play with physical strikers, but like smaller ones in general. So height, six foot three, he stands out, or six foot four, something around that range. And that's very, very good. Going to go to those big centre back, big centre backs. He can win those aerial battles uh, sometimes if his jumping is reliable enough. Strength, obviously, it's about eighty nine or something like that, which is crazy. Dribbling, uh, as you can see, just in that clip there, he can just did the nice one two in between the defenders. Skill moves, he has four star and four star weak foot as well. So you can do those nice McGeady spins, which I do show off. Uh, fake shots, I do use a lot, which aren't really a four star skill move. But in general, it was just nice to be able to maneuver about with him. Uh, the close finishing was one I really noticed. Once I got the hang of containing his shot power, he was cl very, very clinical, close range. I could just find. The right amount of power heading, as you can see from the corner before, he, he's really got that movement in the air and can get a lot, a lot of power on those headers. Stamina, I believe, is like 82 sort of range, which is very good. It's not you're probably not gonna have to sub him off maybe like 75th minute if you're looking for like a pace. And uh is the power of the card, which uh powers like the mix of speed and strength. So when you combine those when Alsam's running at full sprint speed and he's using all his strength to muscle past defenders, he's pretty much an unstoppable force. But that's when he when his uh, acceleration does not hold him back. Just to go into his weak foot again, I feel like Alsama has more of a sort of five-star weak foot, like as you can see from that clip there. He just smashes it with his left foot into the far side of the goal. But most importantly, we do have to remember there's cons about every card. I can't just con tell him he's tell you he's completely great because that would be definitely incorrect. Just looking at this team, these are the sort of teams that came up against him with Noya and De Gea, uh, just over like the same two games. So agility and balance obviously had the chem style to work. We still did feel like clunky sort of a clunky sort of way. His jumping, I also mentioned before when I was talking about his heading, his jumping isn't the isn't the most exceptional. So when you're playing to have goal kicks, sometimes he'll lose the aerial battles because he has the strength and he has the height, but the jumping won't allow him to beat the defenders in the air. Chemistry and price, uh, the price will come on to the end. Chemistry, obviously you need Saudi League players to link up with him, so that is a very big issue for foot champs. Uh, pace and shot power. His pace he isn't very quick and shot power, uh, it was very, very hard to adjust to. He has so much shot power that sometimes I find that I was blazing over the bar of, of some games. But in general, would I recommend this card for foot champs? I'd probably say no. There's definitely cheap alternatives. I'm just going to get onto his price in a second. Before we get onto the price, I was just thinking uh, about the chemistry. Now that does make it very hard for foot champs because obviously you want uh, solid players and the silver uh, left winger item linked up to is very, very poor. Probably the, one of the worst silver cards I've played with. So we get onto this price now. We're looking at the SPC. So according to Footbin, his SPC cost is 99k, around about 100k. And comparing it, that's a Suarez's. I believe Suarez is around the 350k range. So obviously there's a cheapness there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the player review. I'm so glad to be back on doing these. I found these so much more interesting to do. Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.